Since I'm switching over from a bumper pole trailer to a fifth wheel trailer, I don't want to have the cord just hanging off the back to plug in my trailer. So I am going to put a plug right there. So then I can just keep the cord plugged in and just rolled up here on the bed and I don't have to worry about it hanging over the tailgate or scraping the tailgate up or having to put some kind of a cord, bungee cord, something to hold it. So I need to pull this out to get it ready to hook up this wire harness and then I can run that harness over to the side of the bed, drill a hole for this. And looking at these connections, uh, it's just a simple push plastic piece and then unplug it. So same thing on the back of that, it's the same piece. And then this plugs in to the wire harness. This plugs into the back of that one. So that one is still usable when I do hook up a trailer. And then this runs all the way over to the side of the bed. Looks pretty simple. So I'll start by taking this out because it looks like there's enough wire that I can get it out here, disconnect it, make my connections, and then push it back through rather than trying to do it up underneath the truck around the, the hitch and the brackets and everything that are there. Surprisingly pretty simple. There's just a stainless steel piece. Just squeeze it and pop it out. And then on the side of this, there's a little push pin. I'm gonna squeeze it. Mine's really dirty. It's got a lot of grit in there. So it's wanting to hold on. There we go. Pretty simple. Now it looks like we just do it in reverse. Make sure that it does line up. And snap. Hopefully I don't regret that. <laughs> Pretty good. It looks like it's going to be easiest now to plug this in to just go ahead and reinstall this. I'll hang this wire down on the back side. Plug that in. Snap. And then I will take this cord, wrap it, snake it around the bumper, around the tow hitch, over the exhaust, up into the rear fender well, find a way to get it to stay up in there because it looks like it's going to be maybe a two feet too long. And then it's just a matter of drilling a hole. I don't think it's really all that necessary, but I'm going to drop the spare tire down out of the way. I think it'll be easier for me to secure it up over the exhaust so I don't end up melting it. Right, with the spare tire out, you can see the, the tire comes in about right here. So there's plenty of room to actually get in there. You don't have to take the spare tire out. But it's definitely going to make it easier for me to show you how I got it plugged in here and here. So that's the outlet going to the bumper. This is then routed across to the wire harness that goes up to the tailgate. Up and over the frame. And then... It goes around to this harness that goes up to the tail light. And once I get that up routed through the hole, then I can tuck this all up nice and neat. Because you can see there's a little extra length of wire. So you could, if you wanted, run it further up the side of the bed. But for me, I want it just about right there. So I'll just kind of coil this up and put some zip ties on it and call it good once I get that hole drilled in. Let's go upside and do it. Center of it. Normally I make a lot of dimensions and measure and measure and measure, but I'm just gonna eyeball this.
instructions say to drill a two and an eighth inch hole. Perfect fit. I'll uh, get up behind there and get rid of that little flap of metal that folded up in. <laughs> but at least it didn't go all the way through and hit the fender. But now that I reach in there, there's plenty of room. So the drill would have just hit this before it went all the way through. So I don't have to worry about that. Let me climb up in there, push this wire up through, plug this in, and then we'll put these last few screws in. If you are in a area where your roads are salty, you might want to take some paint and seal up that bare metal edge now. Plug that in, wrap that wire through. Pretty cool. Let's test all of these and make sure it works. All good. Well, give me a like if you like what I'm doing. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.